Hi everybody, my name is Brittany of Ritzy Thrift. I'm a reseller on Poshmark, occasionally eBay, and today I am back with another thrift haul for you. So here we go. My first find were these Sorel, I almost said Sorel boots, Sorel sandals. They are lace up, kind of gladiator style. I believe the name of these are the Torpedo 2. So there's the label on the back there. They're in really good condition. I love this pretty neutral color. I don't know if you call this tan or taupe, but they're in just such good condition. I love them. These are a size eight, a little bit too small for me, but I've, I'm selling them anyway. I actually had a pair of Torpedo Sorel sandals before and they were just a pair of slides. So they were um, just some white slides and I thought they were interesting. I was like, I was so used to seeing Sorel boots that I thought that the sandals would go a lot faster. I actually sat on them for a while. I would still pick them up and I have picked up another pair of Sorel sandals. Um, I may have to sit on these for a little while or maybe not. I mean, I think they're pretty cute, but for $3.94, I was not leaving these. Oh, aren't they pretty? So this is a pair of Juicy Couture little girls boots. I love this. It's so pretty with the gold shimmer, shimmer, and the pink. I don't think she wore them. The bottoms are in great condition. They are a size 10. I actually sold a pair of Juicy Couture girls boots and the condition was nowhere near as good as these. These are basically like new. I don't see any scuffs on them. That's so cute. They look kind of champagne-y. They've got that bow tie on them. Really pretty. I'm not sure why I picked these up. I don't pick up Forever 21, but these were new with tags. Maybe that's why. I'm not sure if I picked them up to sell or if I'm going to keep them for myself. I think probably to sell because I've got plenty of like house shoes and bedroom shoes. I think these are dogs. And they're just so cute. So they got like the little beaded soft bottoms. This is a size small. So I don't know what shoe size that is. They were just so cute. And I think they only charged me $1.99 for them. So I was like, okay, yeah, they're cute and they have to come home with me. I think I picked these up for myself because when I'm laying in bed at night, like me and my boyfriend are watching movies, um, we usually like to watch something like when our son goes to sleep. And uh, usually my feet get cold. So I like to have like a thick pair of socks like these. And since they only charged me $1.99 for them, I mean, you can't beat that. They're Mucklux. I think you can get them at Ross, maybe Marshalls and TJ Maxx as well, but I, I know I've seen them at Ross. And they wouldn't have been $1.99 at Ross. And they're so thick and comfy cozy, and they've got that non-slip skid grip on the bottom. Just really cute, really holiday with the plaid and everything. This is a pair of Driftwood jeans, and this is called the Colette. This is a size 25, so it's pretty easy to find driftwood jeans, or, well, not, not easy to find them, but I mean, like, it's pretty easy to spot them because they usually have some floral embroidery on them. The hems are floral em embroidered and they're distressed, and you can also cuff these if you want to wear them inside out. You can see it there as well. Very pretty. I love it. The only issue is they are flawed, so there is a rip right there. And at first, when I looked at it, I thought that it was like factory made, but that's not factory made. So I'll have to disclose that. The comps on these um, pre-owned, not flawed, are about $75. So I'm not sure with that flaw how much I'm going to be able to get for these. But I just sold a pair of Driftwood. Well, not just sold, but I semi-recently sold a pair of Driftwood for about $75, I believe. And so I just got excited and I was like, I have to get them anyway. So might not get 75 for these, but still I think it was worth the pickup. Maybe somebody can have that repaired. A while ago, I saw that these were selling really well, but I thought that that trend probably went away with like the whole skinny jean thing because now everybody likes the looser fit, like boyfriend and all of that. But this is Citizens of Humanity, and this is the Rocket. It's actually the Rocket Crop, and this is the Mid-Rise Skinny. But when I check the comps, it looks like on eBay, these are still performing pretty well. So it's got that distressing on the hems there. Just a skinny pair of blue jeans, high rise. I think that's what, you know, used to make them so popular was that it was a high rise. But I don't know. I mean, the comps still say that they are, they are selling pretty well. So I wanted to give them a try. I paid $4.50.
I just thought that these looked interesting. They are J. Crew and it's called the Selvage Match Stick. These are size 29. And they have them cuffed at the bottom. Kind of like you're trying to see like selvage or something. I don't know. I don't know if the person is if the person did that or if that's how well actually when I checked comps I saw some other people had theirs cuffed as well. So maybe that is, you know, the way that they came, but pretty good size. I do like the Cell J Crew and these just looked like they were in such good condition and the comps didn't look too bad. So I'm going to try this. This isn't a brand that I usually pick up. I have seen it, but these were in immaculate condition and they are so gorgeous. I love this metallic. Oh, so pretty. I'm a sucker for anything glittery, sparkly. I love selling it. And the weird thing is it actually sells for me I, and I don't have to sit on it for a long time. So now I just trust my instincts. If I see something that catches my attention and it's pretty and it's sparkly like this, I get the feeling that it's going to sell because I just seem to have good luck with glittery, sparkly things. So this is White Mountain Footbeds. And that's them. They I don't think that they were worn. The bottoms look really good. I just think that is so beautiful. These are in a size 6. I don't mind them being in a smaller size because unlike with clothing, shoes being a smaller size never seems to hinder them selling like i don't have a problem with selling smaller size shoes with clothing i can sell it but it sits longer than the plus size so i do try to stem towards plus size with clothing but these sandals are just too pretty and i just picked them up based on style and condition and i think somebody else is going to just love these because i love them this is a pair of Crocs. I have sold this style before, I think a couple of times. I believe I picked up a black pair just like this before, same style. Um, and I believe they're called the Sexy T-Strap. And these I don't think were worn. They look really good on the bottoms. These are size 8. So I believe I sold the other ones before for either $30 or $40. So I'm expecting the same for these, especially considering that they're pretty much like new. I really don't think that they were worn. I think I also had a pink pair that were new with tags and they sold for a good amount too and fairly quickly. I may have to wait till the weather gets a bit warm, you know, but then people are always going on vacation and you never know what people need. So I don't base what I list off of what season it is, whether it's cold or warm. I just, I list it as I can and, you know, it might very well be something that somebody really needs because they're going somewhere warm and that's what they need. I stopped picking up this brand. I have sold it before, but it didn't continue to do as well as I heard it could do. So I just kind of lost interest in it and I started passing on it when I found it. But these look really cool to me. So this is Universal Standard and it's a size 2X. I think it's a 2X long actually. Or is that 2XL? I don't know. I'm going to have to... Um, I measure out everything that I have anyway. But I like these because they have this stripe on the side. So like it's just a brown and white stripe. And they are a wide leg, really wide leg. See? So because of that and the size, I thought they were really cool. I usually have only found jeans in Universal Standard before. So I just kind of went to test this out and see how well these wide leg pants would do. I thought this was pretty cool. This is BR Sport, which is Banana Republic Sport. This is a size extra large tall and it's new with tags. And it's got all these fun things like it's wrinkle resistant, quick dry, UPF 50, moisture wicking. The original price says it was $110, which is really, really good. And they are cargo, so that's cool. So it's got the pull string here on the waist. It's a stretch waist, pull string, great size. It's got functional pockets, got these cargo pockets down here. And a uh, jogger there. So with all these factors, I don't think I have a problem with moving it. And I myself, I just like it. Sometimes I'm kind of like, I'm getting it. I don't really care what the comps say. Like if I just like it myself, I grab it. And again, oddly enough, those things are the things that tend to move. Oh, here we go again. Torrid, new tag. This is a size 28 and it's called the All Night Slim Boot, Slim Boot uh, Pant. And as you can see, they are gray. So just a really nice pair of office pants. They have functional pockets. Oh, nope, no, they don't. <laughs> These are faux pockets, actually. 
but I like the size and I mean I think it's just a really nice basic it's new with tags somebody's gonna have to go into the office and gonna be looking for a nice comfortable pair of pants and I hope she finds my closet and purchases these I've never heard of this brand but when I felt it sometimes you can feel the quality and things this is called brass and this is a size large black skirt it's got this really wide and very sturdy waistband like I feel like you're not going anywhere in this this is very strong and that's what caught my attention it's got pockets it's just like a pencil skirt with a slit so it's really just the quality and also the size that caught my attention for this I'm gonna give it a try when I checked comps in the store it seemed like it was gonna do okay and then I checked again and it seemed like they kind of changed where I don't know if there's two brands named brass or what but the way that this feels it's just simply a good quality skirt like this is just if you could feel it you would know what i mean this isn't just it's it's very sturdy and very strong and it feels like quality so i'm gonna put this in my closet and hopefully there's a brass fan out there that will purchase this my foot fell asleep so it's like i gotta wait it out otherwise it's just gonna be too distracting <sighs> that's weird that's a weird feeling Okay, focus. So, this is a brand that I have not heard of, but it was next to something else that was expensive that I passed on. I can't remember why I passed on it. Maybe it was something that I know is expensive, but it just doesn't move from my closet. But this was something that was right beside it. So, this is Albion. This is a size small, and these are gray joggers. So, at first, I thought that maybe it was a fitness item because I think the other thing that I passed on was a fitness item but then when I was doing some more research it looks like it could be a scrub top uh, scrub bottom so I don't know if this is a scrub brand or if this is just for fitness but I grabbed it because the comps looked really good and it seemed like it would be worth it so like probably at least $40 I'm hoping again this is a new to me brand so all you can do is try it out and see that's pretty cool it's got that zip at the bottom of the ankle I have a good feeling about this though. It almost reminds me like the texture feels kind of Lululemon-ish. So maybe this is one of those um, one of those mirror brands. Have you ever noticed that for every brand that's really popular and everybody's heard of it, there's another brand or maybe even two other brands that are equally as expensive, equally good quality, but you've never heard of it before until you happen upon it or unless you actually take the time to do the research and it's like, well, how come nobody's talking about this one? No, everybody's talking about Lululemon. You know, so it's like sometimes you come across those brands where it's like, it's quiet and I love it because it means that it's not saturated, it moves faster and everybody's not on it yet, you know? Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> Explain myself. So I'm, I'm supposed to be done with Spanx. I find it quite often now. It just doesn't move like that for me. And that's okay, except this particular pair. So this is a size, what, small? But the thing is, I don't think I've seen a pair of Spanx like this. I've seen the blue jeans and I have seen, you know, the typical leggings with all the prints. But this is a really, really cute wide leg pair of pants. And I don't even care that they're white. I think I looked up the comps when I was in the store and they were going for at least 50 so it's like just a really comfortable pull on cropped wide leg pair of pants. I don't know the exact name, but I was like, wow, these look so good and they feel so good that I just want to give them a chance. So yes, it's Spanx and no, I can't really move Spanx, but I feel like maybe this will be the one to go because I love this. So this was the mic drop of the trip, right? So like I'm, I'm looking at this and I can tell that the... The worker just put it out because it was just kind of like stuck out in the rack and it caught my attention because of this pretty green. So it's just this green jean-ish shirt. It's a button down shirt and I saw that it was Pilcro. And I'm like, oh, Pilcro. Well, you know, good brand. And then I saw that it's a 3X. So it's a size 3X and I'm fiddling with it, trying to figure out, should I get it? Should I get it? And I'm like, I really feel like I want to get it, but I don't know. And then, like, I hear something rattling in here, and then I pull it out, and I'm like, oh, it's new with tags. Now I must get it. So for $4.50, I grabbed this. It's a 3X Pilcro 
um, jean button down shirt, but it's made of, it's got a good makeup, I believe. It's got an okay makeup. <laughs> it's 87% cotton and 13% linen. So I think I could feel the linen in this when I was fiddling around with it. And that's what was making me kind of want to, you know, gravitate towards getting it. But definitely once I saw the tag, I was like, absolutely, yes, I am getting it. So I think there was some wonderful plus size woman who decided to very generously donate a lot of her clothing because um, the universal standard and the pill crow, I think that came from her. And I was seeing a lot of other items that I didn't have an interest in for rese reselling, but they were all in the same um, size range, like 3X. So I think she donated all of these things and I am forever grateful to her. Thank you so much for this. I love finding things like this. I think this one might have come from her as well. This is a new tag, Old Navy cami dress. It's a size 4X. I just thought it was so beautiful. It's white, it's floral, and I love how stretchy it is up here in the chest. The reason I grabbed this is because, you know, I love plus size new tag Old Navy in dresses. It usually sells for 25 whatever, 15 25 for me. So if I see it and I'm in the mood, I just go on and grab it because I know that that's going to be my little bit of bread and butter. So I think this came from the same person. So again, thank you to her for being so generous and donating this. This is a brand I stopped picking up a long time ago, and I'm kind of questioning whether I should have picked this up too, but we're going to try it. This is Mazook, exclusively Mazook. I think this is a large. It is a large, 100% acrylic. It's a maxi dress, just a plain black maxi dress, and, or either it could be a midi, I guess, depending on, I never understood maxi and midi because everybody is a different height. Like, something that might be a midi on one person would be definitely a maxi on somebody that's, like, shorter. So how can you say definitively whether or not something is a midi or a maxi dress or skirt or whatever? So I just always put measurements in my listings so that way the person knows their height. You know, they can compare it to their other clothing and they know whether or not something is going to be what they're looking for or not with my listings. So anyway, nothing too special about this one, but it was just because I recognized it and I like that it was a longer skirt. I've never seen a Lily Pulitzer like this before. So here's the label, Lily Pulitzer. It's a double zero. This was so wedding dress-y to me. Like this feels like, sorry, the strap came off. Let me rehook it. So this feels very wedding dress-esque to me. It is beautiful. It's all this floral lace in here and it's just an a-line dress i like that it has straps on it it has removable straps i you know i hate it when like there's i usually don't pick up strapless dresses because i don't know i just find them to be aggravating it, it just so depends on like how tight the elastic is and you know what somebody's chest size is whether or not it's going to stay up or fall down and all that so i'm like i like things with straps so that caught my attention and it is missing its belt. Normally, I wouldn't pick up something if it was missing its belt, but because this is so pretty, and I don't really think a belt is necessary. I mean, I think it's gorgeous all on its own, but this is definitely something that I feel like somebody could wear uh, to, like, um, I don't know, a wedding, Easter, something, some sort of a more formal get-together, and I don't think I've ever seen Lily Pulitzer like this. Usually, I see her, you know, with sweaters or, like, really colorful dresses, but for this to be just plain white, it caught me off guard. And I was like, Lily, you're elegant. That is beautiful, isn't it? So I grabbed it. I was like, hmm, I don't care if it's a double zero. It is a beautiful dress. And double zero size people do exist. So, hey, I have never heard of this before. I plucked this out of the $2 bin. This is a corset, and it is by the brand Big for Little. Little for Big. Um, sexy, curvy, I'm sorry, I'm getting it wrong, and it's right here on the tag, let me see, just read the tag, okay, little for big, lovely, cute, sexy, so there is the tag, and it's just this lace-up corset, at first I thought that it was Care Bears, but not necessarily, it's got rainbows, and it's got teddy bear faces, it is a, a ribbon, pink ribbon lace-up, and it's got the bows at the bottom, 
I mean, it's just gorgeous. And it's a size 4X. And it was only $2. So I was like, okay, this is too cool. This is too fun. I have to get it. And when I got to the register, the cashier said that people have been grabbing these like all day. I found, uh, I found this one and another one at the very bottom of the bin. So I guess they, these were the ones that they just missed, you know, but she said that a lot of people had been coming up. So I guess someone just donated a whole bunch of them and people had been coming in all day and grabbing them. And I'm glad that I was able to find this one and the other one because the other one has a really cool pattern on it as well. Here is the other one. This is also a size 4X and it is very Halloween-esque with the bats and the candy and the ghosts. And it's black and gray, as you can see. This is also a lace-up. It's got four hooks, uh, hook and loops, so that way you can tighten it up however much you need to. But I just thought it was so cool. Also $2, so I'm glad that I get to try out this brand. I've never heard of it before, but I just think it's so interesting and artistic. This is why I like checking in the kids section. Somebody put this over in the kids section, um, and I can understand why they would think that it's kids because it's extremely colorful. But uh, this is actually Ed Hardy. And I've been waiting for the day that I could find Ed Hardy. So it's this beautiful Ed Hardy purple hoodie. And look at the back. So tattoo. So pretty, so colorful, so artistic. I, once upon a time, was doing research. This is a size medium, by the way. And I realized that Ed Hardy can actually do really well with hoodies. So like $50 and up. And I feel like this one is in good condition. And it's extremely, extremely tatted up. I love that on the back. I think this one is going to be one, one of the ones that does really well. Probably $50 or higher. I love that. I've been waiting to find an Ed Hardy. I think I found one before, but the condition was really bad. And it was just kind of torn up. So I left it behind. But this is exactly what I was waiting to find and I can't wait to see how it's going to perform in my closet. I want to see how much I'm going to get for it. It's got animal print all in the hood and everything. It's really cool. Once again, because my feet get cold, I just grabbed them. They were in the bin, in the $2 bin, so, and they haven't been used. Super cute with the little dog paws and the colors and everything are just so wacky and cool. I feel like this fits my personality pretty good and you know like it's not like I would wear this outside of the house nothing wrong with it if I wanted to but definitely around the house this is me oh yeah okay so here we go with the not so great thing this was in the two dollar bin I got excited I was like oh yeah I finally found one now it is faded and all that and it's got some cracking in the smiley face you can see it right there the thing is in the store, I can't tell if something is authentic or not. So for $2, I threw it in my, my cart and I was like, okay, I'll just eat it if it's fake. I will do my research when I get home. It feels like really good quality. It feels like good quality. However, when I was doing some research, when I got home, I was like, okay, I don't think that this is real. Number one, the tag doesn't quite look right. And then some of the things that I was seeing in the comparison video of what's fake and what's real. This is fitting more of the what's fake than what's real. So I'm just going to assume that this is not a real Drew hoodie. Um, I believe the brand is called Drew House. It is Justin Bieber's clothing line. Um, yeah, it's sad. I so thought that like this is the tag. It says Drew Skate House. The other ones say Drew House. And they also have like the size, I think the size is like right down here. Whereas on this one, I don't, you probably can't see it, but there's a teeny tiny like little size medium there. And that didn't quite look right to me. So I was like, uh, is this just like an older one and that's how they used to do it or what? The tag down here is pretty worn, faded and flimsy and doesn't really look doesn't really look like the ones that I saw so I just assume that it's not authentic so I would not be listing this but you know it's it was nice to dream for a minute I thought that maybe I had finally found a Drew House hoodie oh well it's okay this is Pearl Izumi and this is a women's size large it says select I don't know what select is but 
I've tried pearl izumi before in men's. I had two men's fleeces. One, I think I just redonated because it wouldn't sell. And the other one I sold and it didn't even get like a five star rating. So after that, I was just kind of over it. I was like, I'm not picking up pearl izumi anymore. If it sells for other people, good for them. But it doesn't sell for me. The only thing that made me pick this up was that it's a full, like, you know, cycling suit, I assume. And it was only $2 and it looks like the tag is maybe a little newer. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know for sure. But it looks a little newer and it just, you know, $2 for like a full, you know, not full. It's not like long sleeve or long leg or anything like that. But you know what I mean? It's a one piece suit. And I assume it's for cycling. I will look it up to try to figure it out. But $2 for this, I think maybe I should be able to get you know a decent enough profit this I've never heard of before but I checked the comps while I was in the store and they looked pretty good so I'm gonna give it a try this is called Madison Matthews and this is a size 2XL it's this pretty gathered waist floral mini dress short sleeve very um, nice for the summer and it is new a tag so there is the tag I mean, I don't know anything about this brand. I just grabbed it to see if it would perform well. Oh, this is really pretty. Look, this is a nice, pretty raised flower. Like, it's embroidered. Like, you can feel that texture is sticking out there. So, that's a really nice detail on it. But, Madison Matthews, the comps just look like they were pretty good. And since this is a plus size and it's new with tags, almost done. So, this is called Quincy, I assume. Or is it Quince? It might be Quince, but I kind of just thought it was Quincy. I don't know. But size medium. It looks like it's new without tag. I pulled this out of the $2 bin. When I check the comps, this brand seems to do okay. I don't know how well a basic like this is going to do. But um, it seemed like it was worth picking up. So I grabbed it. It's just like a pretty little light bluish green color. This is my first time finding this. I've been looking for it for a while. This is called Balance Athletica, and this is a size medium, so their logo is that triangle right there. And when I saw it, I was like, why does that look so familiar? You know, and then I had to kind of like read it to see. And this is actually a somewhat recent piece. Okay, it's 2020, but still, you know, and it's in pretty good condition, actually. Like, they're really, really soft. They're in this pretty purple. They are a full-length legging. So I'm glad, oh, there's the, the logo on the back as well, that little triangle. So Balance Athletica, I finally found it, and I can't wait to add it to my closet. Once again, I love anything glittery, sparkly. This is like a velour dress, um, faux wrap, I guess, kind of. It looks a little wrap-ish, but, or maybe it's just a side slit, I don't know, but this is a velour sparkly sparkly polka dot metallic silver dress and I just thought that it was really pretty it kind of looks a little prairie-esque it's got the tie around the neck back zip closure really pretty I kind of debated on this because I was like I don't know if I should try that but this is by chic wish and it's a size small and I realized I actually have another chic wish listed in my closet it's gotten some attention, but it hasn't sold yet. So I really just picked this up based on style. I think it is beautiful. I can't seem to get away from Athleta as well. I think I just like it. I like finding it. It's not really that it sells all that well. I mean, it does sell, but it's not like, ooh, all of that or anything, but I keep picking it up. I think it's because I keep finding these linen pieces. So this is a size 14, the Cabo Linen Wide Leg Pant. And I actually have picked this up before in a different color, but here comes the white one. So I've got them in two different colors now. I can't remember the size for the other one, but I mean, it's, it's linen and it's a popular brand and it's white leg, so it's in style. So, I mean, I don't know. I just grab it. I mean, somebody's going to want it come summertime, I know. I picked these up simply because they were in the $2 bin and because they were new tags and they are extra large so i guess they do have a few reasons as to why i picked it up but it's called the fold over short from victoria's secret pink by victoria's secret and original price is 25 dollars at the store they are this blue just a blue short there is the tag on the back fold over 
short. And then you can see it's got like, you know, Victoria's or pink along the inside of the fold over. Just a pair of, you know, chilling around the house, lounge in or sleep uh, shorts. I don't know, $2. Seems like it's worth it. I, again, $2. I just grabbed it. It's Patagonia size large in these green pull string waist shorts for women. I keep saying I'm almost done, but yet it seems like the bag is kind of growing. So I grabbed this Young, Fabulous, and Broke. Um, I said I didn't want to pick this up again because it hasn't moved for me. I have another piece that hasn't moved. Actually, two other pieces that haven't moved. But I like the style of it. It's a maxi skirt. And I love how it goes from like this dark to like, like just metallic, shimmery ombre. I love the colors in it. And it's a medium. So, I mean good size comfortable it's got this tail slit i don't know i just kind of like the style of it and so i was like okay even though this brand has not really performed that well for me it is new with tags well new with tj maxx tags but uh it's still new it's pretty colors and i like the style of it so i'm gonna try again hopefully this does not end up getting donated <laughs> i have heard that belts can do pretty well and i wasn't particularly looking for belts on this day but when I was digging through the two dollar bin this one was laying there so I guess somebody picked it up and they decided that they didn't want it and they just put it back and I was looking at it and I was like hmm that's really pretty I don't know if you call it tooled or embossed but that whole floral print there is just so pretty and it's in really good condition that's the other thing that impressed me so this is by I'm gonna mess this up Silpata Designs it's a size large and when I take the comps, it looks like you can get probably about $20 for it. So, I mean, with that pretty embossed or tooled work there, very pretty with the floral. It is a size large. I like the cognac brown color. I mean, it's in such good condition. I just feel like, you know, hey, if I can turn 99 cents into 20 bucks, then why not do that? Okay. Last but not least, so excited to have found these. So, this is bogs and i love these because they're not like the basic bogs even though i love the basic bogs too bogs do move for me but i noticed that the ones like this tend to move for a little more money so i had a cam camouflage pair of uh boys bogs boots and there was camo all up here and down here and everything just like how the cat print is on these and those sold for about 40 dollars, i believe and these are also waterproof the thing is, what threw me off is that typically it'll say bogs on the back. So I think I've seen these before and I just, I passed on them. Like not these in particular, but like I, maybe I was looking for that and when I didn't see it, I just thought, oh, well, it's not bogs. I mean, there are some lookalikes, but what I realized is that with these, oh, you're probably not going to be able to see that. It's too dark. I'm sorry. But down in here, it actually does say bogs and I was like, oh. So they don't always put it on the back anymore, I guess. So these are a size 13, and this is called K Grass Kitties. So again, with the kitty print. Very cute, in pretty good condition actually, aside from just like a little bit of, you know, dirt or wear or whatever. So hopefully I can get $40 for these, I'm hoping. They are actually in pretty good shape. Um, so yeah, I was just excited. To have found bogs again okay so that's it for my haul if you're still here um i i know it kind of ran a little longer but it was kind of a bigger haul so thank you so much for watching this haul i really enjoy the things that i pick up and i love reselling them um if you enjoy this kind of content then you know hey check out my other videos i will be back with more so thanks for watching this one and i hope to see you in the next one bye